So when is a C-section needed? Doctors usually recommend a C-section when they find it to be the safest option for either the mother, the baby, or both. If a woman has already had a C-section before, doctors often advise going for another one. Sometimes the mother herself may request a C-section in advance. This is called an elective or planned C-section, usually scheduled around the 39th week of pregnancy. Now, let's look at the reasons why a doctor chooses a cesarean section. Number one, labor dystocia. This happens when the baby's head is too large to pass through the mother's pelvis. Number two, placenta previa. Here, the placenta covers the opening of the uterus either partially or fully, blocking the baby's way out. Number three, breech position. Normally, babies should be head down, but if the baby is feet down or buttocks down, that's called a breech position, and it may require a C-section. Number four, umbilical cord prolapse. Sometimes the umbilical cord slips through the birth canal before the baby. This can compress the cord and cut off oxygen and blood flow to the baby, an emergency that needs immediate C-section. Number five, fetal distress. This is when the baby's heart rate shows signs of stress, indicating that the baby may not be getting enough oxygen. Number six, multiple pregnancies. In cases of twins or more, a C-section is often the safer route. Number seven, macrosomia. When the baby weighs more than four kilograms, vaginal delivery can be risky. A C-section is usually safer. Number eight, health conditions in the mother. Conditions like cervical cancer or pelvic tumors can also make C-section the better option.